Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another SH Figure Arts action figure review. This time we're looking at Luke Skywalker from The Last Jedi, namely his appearance at the Battle of Crate, um, in which Luke uh, sends an apparition of himself from Arc 2 to confront Kylo Ren and allow the Resistance to escape. Not unlike what Ben Kenobi did in A New Hope, but probably on a on a higher, le higher level being able to send an apparition of himself and not necessarily be there physically. Um, which is such a, just a badass Jedi move. Um, it's so good. I love it a lot. But this figure is pretty damn good. Um, I was hesitant at first, I will admit. I, I've been hanging out for a crate Luke figure. The vintage collection one from Hasbro was reasonable. Um, I believe a Black Series one is coming from Hasbro 2. Um, that would kind of be a no-brainer. But seeing this one, I... I was excited and had my doubts at the same time based on some like just pre-shots that they put out of this thing of the of the prototype and such. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, there are two head sculpts. One of them is on there now, obviously, um, which is the better one. And there is another one that just not quite there. Um, but they do look a lot better in person than any images online. Uh, one thing I think this figure is probably missing is the ability to switch this um, pulled back hood with a hood that sits over his head. Um, so you can have reenact that scene where he enters the uh, rebel base there at, at his first appearance on crate. It does come with his lightsaber. Which if, uh, Kylo Ren had paid attention. It was the one that just broke in front of him 10 minutes beforehand. Um, but maybe he wasn't aware that that's what happened. It does come with an assortment of hands. Uh, they're in the accessory box right now. And he does have a lightsaber gripping hand with a glove. But I currently have that on the Arctu Island uh, Exile look. Um, it's just a better fit for that figure. So... It works well. But overall, the face likeness is pretty good. I know the uh, I know my light's a little bit iffy, but again, like I said, it it looks a lot better in person. And it's hard to nail down a look from a scene when he's basically standing in amongst the wind. Um, hair's being blown around a lot. It's not really a, a still moment where his hair's like all neat and in place. But I think this is a reasonably good representation of it. And if you want to get really windswept, this is where you get the other the other head sculpt. Which again, I think it's okay. Um, it's just not quite not quite nailing Mark Hamill. It is in different lights, but in just full blown light, it's it's just not quite there. But that's okay. As long as one of them did, I'm happy. So the thing I do like about this is I, I like the outfit itself. I like the, the Jedi robes and we're seeing this version of Luke run around a lot in the Rise of Kylo Ren comic series at the moment. So his apparition is basically Appealing to Kylo's last memory of Luke, um, wearing this sort of black robe with the the split in the back. What I love about this is the uh, the texture on this on this robe is fantastic. Down the sleeves, it looks really nice. It's still got the white outfit, the white basic shirt underneath, which is nice as well. See it popping out the sleeves, the belt, the wraps around the legs for the for the boots. Again, I do wish that the uh, upon standing him straight, I do wish that that sort of sat flat. Um, they did do two with Yoda, um, but that's okay. Again, it's sort of standing in the in the breeze a little bit. Again, they've really tried to nail this down to a specific moment in the confrontation with Kylo Ren. 
but yeah, it would have been nice to have a, a version that sits flat, sits straight down, and just sort of maybe wraps around the base of his legs a little bit more. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this figure. I still think the uh, A New Hope Luke is my favourite at this stage. But hopefully we can get a uh, Jedi Master Luke with his white robes, longer hair. I think that would be cool too. So we'll see. I dare say we'll get uh, Bespin Empire Strikes Back Luke at some stage. Um, Luke's obviously going to be a favourite. So Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Next up, we'll be looking at Rey from Rise of Skywalker. So until then, may the Force be with you.